Hi, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing with everyone the speed booster for the Canon EOS R series. This one. The reason I purchased the speed booster because in that time I don't want to spend too much money on the camera body such as the R5 or R6. I using the entry level the Canon EOS RP and I want to shoot up 4K. So in that time people mentioned they say RP shooting the 4K with the speed booster equal full frame. So that's a rumor in that time. I do have M6 Mark II and actually M6 Mark II is filming me in this moment with speed booster on and uh, Sigma 24 to 35 and I use the f-stop 1.4. My experience for the speed booster is I really like it. So that's the story begin. I use the RP and I heard the rumor is RP use the speed booster while shooting the 4K video equal full frame. So I purchased the speed booster, the Veltrock EF-R3 for my RP. But after I bought it, tested with my RP, I noticed the focusing so bad cannot compare with my M6 Mark II. So I just keep my RP in the storage on the side. So I'm not really using that to shooting any video. Well, a couple months ago, I got the R6. So I assume the R6 is a full frame camera, right? And uh, while you're shooting the video, it's full frame also. So when you put a speed booster on, it's supposed to have really bad than yetting, you know, the, the dark edge around the corner. So I put on once. I noticed that's really bad. So I just put my, you know, like R6 on the side and the speed booster on the side. At the meantime, I still using my M6 model with the speed booster. You know, I like it, I enjoyed it. Well, you know, like a couple days ago, I feel really bored. So I take off my R6 again and put speed booster on and think about, you know, like since I do have all the gauges, if I'm not using, I just, you know, like waste the money. So I start to play around, mess around. So when I flip to the video mode, so I did it, all the different kind of combination to testing, play with it. So my idea is when I play with my R6 and when I dial from the photo to the video, I notice the screen get enlarged. So that means they're cropping it. So after I noticed that, and I put my speed booster on to play with. And I think that's a great news is the vignetting on the 4K video mode on the R6, it's not that bad. And I will show you guys later on with a different combination on the video. And personally, I think that's a doable, really. Especially if you're doing the 2.35 to 1 ratio video, you probably not notice they have any vignetting at all. Let's hop around to see the demonstration. Bye. Okay, the top two is from the photo. The bottom two is from the video. And we are using the embody stabilization IBIS enabled. So we can see on the top right, we put the speed booster in, and they have a lot of vignetting down here. On the left button, this video, actually you see that compared with the top one, the photo actually, we can see the on the screen here, and this here. Actually, the photo has been cropped. Compared with this one, that one, actually the bottom right, they have a more view angle compared with the top left, with the original. Uh, actually, it's pretty close to the top right using the R6 85mm with the speed booster on. I will assume IBIAs, they will take the, a little bit cropping. If we are capable doing the 2.35 to 1 ratio, you see, like this way, and the widescreen format, and uh, we can see there's a less vignetting down here. So we can see on the top left, just R6 with 20 millimeter lens, and uh, on the right side, it's R6 with 20 millimeter lens with the speed boosters. We can see a lot of vignetting, just like the 85 millimeter sensing. On the bottom left, I'm doing the screenshot from the video so we can see 
actually we can see from these two pictures, from these two photos, you can see on the still photo part that a wider view angle versus video. So what I assume that's a IBIA is doing the cropping also. So after here on the bottom right, I put the speed booster on. So we can see the view angle get wider. The vignetting is coming in as well. If we're doing the 2.35 to 1 ratio, we can see down here have a less vignetting, but I think still a little bit visible. It's depending on the you know like the, the video style, so you can get accepted or not. Hi, I'm back again. After everyone see the demonstration, what you guys think? You know, personally, I was really sad for you know like RP have really bad focusing system. Even I put a speed booster on, they cannot do really good job on the focusing. Ideally, you can take the video, but it is really bad for focusing right. So I think the R6 with a speed booster on, and when you enable the IBIS in body image stabilization. Even you put a speed booster on, it's still doable. I don't know what you guys think, but if you have any question, feel free to send me the message or leave a comment on the below. Okay, thanks. Bye.